I'm going to show you how to make a horse cart in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So in order to do this, you got to get three pony points by going to stables. We'll talk about it in a second. And then after that, you can get your reward. So let me just go ahead and walk you through this whole process here. If you'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Yeah, your pony reward for three points is a towing harness. A durable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to a harness for a horse tow. So in order to get the towing harness, we just got to get three pony points by simply getting a horse, going to a stable, putting the horse in the stable, and then discovering another stable or staying at a stable or just going to multiple stables. Um, any combination of that. Get three horse points and we can get this towing harness. Harness is the type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. If you save it two more points, the horse god fabric will be yours. So one of a kind item that you can bring to the Hateno Village Dye Shop over in Nekluda. Appreciate your patronage. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to get on our horse in order to use this thing. And now we've got to head over to the desk. Hit hold L or ZL and then press A to talk to him. And then say customize horse. Now from this screen, would you like to equip the towing harness? Yes, attach a harness. Give me just a moment. And the harness is now attached. If you attach a harness to a stable wagon, you can transport bulky materials. Looks great. Please ask whenever you feel like changing your horse's gear. Anything else? That is all. Then you say goodbye. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get on this horse. And we're going to look for some of these building materials. I think this is it right over here. There's some. By the way, I'm doing all this right now over at this stable, but you could do this at any stable. All right, so we're going to go here, and we're going to get off the horse. So now, for the fun part, so let's build ourselves a little wagon here. So we're going to take one of these, and we're going to put it on the ground. Press X, just drop it for now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to... Wait, is this one in the back? Oh, maybe we want this one, actually. Oh, there's there's oh, there's a lot of options. Hold on, we got to see what our materials are. Do we have three of these or two of these? So it's always good to figure out what you're working with. So we only have two of these. And then we have four of these smaller ones. Um, oh, and then we have this. Oh, oh, this is just more things. Okay. We can take these apart if we want. So let's get all our materials laid out. And we got to decide what kind of wagon do we want. So I'm thinking we'll actually make a really big wagon to see how the game handles that kind of situation. We're going to rotate this. Um, I'm just going to drop it so it'll go flat. And then we're going to... Uh, let's see, which way are we going to do this? We can do this the janky... Oh, this is going to bother some people because we don't have enough materials to make it perfect. We could go to multiple stations, though, to get a more perfect one. We're going to take this. We're going to try to line up good. Get it on the ground. Hold on. Let me get on the ground so it's actually on the side. Get it lined up and then attach it. Now we're going to grab one of these. Let me grab it from this here so I can more easily see what I'm doing. And then lift it up. Bring it over and attach it like that. Then we're going to grab one of these. going to rotate this. And then we're going to bring it back towards us some so I can see what I'm doing better. All right, let's bring him over and then attach it. Very ugly, but hey, you know what? It's, it's, it's fine. Um, and then we have... Oh, we had more of these over here. I'm going to attach them for a second so I can grab them both together. All right, let's take one of these. And then we're going to rotate it. We're gonna rotate it like this, and then this, and then like this. And we're gonna put it right here. And then we're going to take this one. We'll rotate it around, and we're gonna stick it on the back right there. And then we're going to, I don't think we can do anything with this because I don't think it can cover this gap. <laughs> that would look so bad if I did that. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to need to build a frame on this potentially. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Um, here, let's... I don't know if I need to do it this way, but I'm going to do it a fancy way. 
All right, take this, and then um. Oh no, I need I need to get him closer. So we got to put him like that. Oh god, I didn't mean to attach that. Okay, grab it, pull it apart, put it over here, and just drop it. Grab one, rotate it sideways, and then just drop it right here. And then I'm just going to get this one out of the way for now. Now we're going to take wheels. And we're going to rotate them around. And then we're going to try to stick them on. And then we're going to take this one. Let's uh, put it like this and then bring it close to me so I can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to attach that wheel. So we got our first axle here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this axle and we're just going to drop it over here for now. Hopefully it'll stop. Oh, that's... Why is it following him? What is going on? Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're going to leave this over here for now because it just wants to roll away and for some reason stalk our horse. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this one, rotate it, bring it closer. Just drop it. Don't actually attach it. All right, we're going to grab a wheel. Bring it close. Bring it down. Pop it on. All right. Now we're going to grab this wheel. Oh, and then we're going to bring it close. Bring it down. I can't imagine doing this low camera speed. I'm at camera speed at maximum, and it's still horrible. All right. So now we've got the axles. Now, the question I have here... Okay, so we, we're going to have to try something here. Uh, I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to put it here just as a stopper. I'm going to try to just make sure these wheels don't go rolling away. Um, pull this one out, too, now. All right, and then, um, you know, actually, maybe there's another way we could do this. Mm, I don't know. There's probably a bunch of ways we could do this. Uh, I could actually... Will this fall on its own? It doesn't fall on its own. Okay. Is this wide enough? Because this might not be wide enough. If so, we're going to have to make some modifications. Um, I don't think that is going to be wide enough for... <laughs> we, can do, we can do this so many different ways. All right. Let's do it like this. Let's do something really dumb. All right. I love messing things up. It's so good. Okay. We're going to take this. And we're going to attach it like that. And then we're going to take this one. And we're going to attempt to attach it like this. Oh, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. This is very nice. We should frame this. Oh, no. I almost knocked it over. All right. The wheels are a little off center because I didn't do this on level ground. Okay, this is going to bother me. I'm afraid it's going to be off-center and be all messed up. So let me do this on level ground. All right, we're going to take this. We're going to drop it down right here. This is so much fun, man. All right, so now I'm going to grab this, bring it around. All right, rotate it. And now we're going to attach it right there. Hopefully there's enough height. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, there's no friction. It's not making contact. All right. Wow. I don't know what just happened there. Grab this. And we're going to put one all the way back here. Okay. And now we're going to see if this is enough or if we need to attach something. This is amazing. Hold up. Oh my God. We made the, the epic giant one. Oh, oh no. Oh no, it's going to roll away. Oh. Grab it. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to leave it up here. The, the rocks are probably so we can put a stopper and it won't roll away, but we can just hopefully do it from here. All right. Let me get my horse over here. So now we got to find a way to attach this thing. God, go, horse. Go. I don't know what he's doing. He is just not cooperating. There's like an invisible wall or something. There's literally like an invisible wall. This is so weird. There's literally an invisible wall. I'm stuck. Okay. 
There we go. That sign has a... Oh, d d bro, stop. The hardest part of this is not building the wagon. It's getting the horse to literally work with you at all on this. It's crazy. All right. Walk ourselves into a position here. Uh, I might have needed one more beam. Because um, I might need to attach this with a beam. So... Let's see. Okay, I see how this could work. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the horse and we're gonna go in reverse. And keep backing him up. We're gonna try to back it up into position. All right, now we're going to recenter. We're gonna turn to the right. <laughs> this is so good. All right, we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna back it up, back it up, back it up. That's as far as he'll go. Okay. Now you're gonna take Ultra Hand, you're gonna grab this, and you're gonna attach it right there. Okay, now you're gonna get on your horse. And we're gonna pull our giant wagon. Oh, this is amazing. This is very nice. All right, let's see how fast we can go with this wagon. Oh, I can't turn. Okay, I can turn. We're good. The horse doesn't like it very much though. But yeah, now we have this amazing towing wagon. Not the greatest one ever, but we can get better, make a better one by getting better materials. All we gotta do is just like, you know, go hunting by going on the side of the road and trying to find another one so we can add more stuff to it. I'm gonna try to make a modification to this because it's actually not letting my horse run. So what I'm gonna do as an improvised solution here so that there's not another one of these things nearby is cut down a tree. But I think the reason, I'm hoping at least, that the reason my horse can't figure this out or can't run is simply because he's too close to this giant wagon I made. So let's grab this, take it. Oh God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We don't want to do that. Our wagon. Oh, okay. That was a close one. I should have done this on level ground. All right, let's bring it over. Drop it. I mean, it should just stay as long as it's sideways like this. All right, so <laughs> we are gonna attach a log like this, and then we're going to take the mount. And now, I thought those flowers were enemies. All right, now we're gonna see. All right. We're going to see if this makes it so we can now run. All right, now let's see if that changed anything or if it was purely the weight of the wagon that was messing things up. Maybe it's because I'm going uphill. Maybe he can't bring it. It's too heavy. Oh, yeah. It might just be too heavy. Let's see what happens when we go downhill. If I even can. Come on. Come on. Come on. He does not want to turn. This is this is tough. This is tough. There we go. Oh, I can do it downhill. So there really is like a physics system involved in this. There's weight. There's like how much the cart weighs. There's what kind of... Are you going uphill? Are you going downhill? All these things matter. Also, this cart is destroying my frame rate in this rain, which is kind of hilarious, honestly. So the log didn't really help the issue with running. But it definitely makes it, um, just honestly, it just makes it worse. It's harder to turn now. Oh, we got one of the runs off. Oh, we got our runs off. All right, we're able to run. So we can run downhill. So it's really about the weight. So when you make a cart, you know, you might not want to make the world's biggest cart. But then again, the issue with this, and something you really should know about, my horse's strength is strength one. One star strength. That's as low as it can possibly go. So if you have a horse with more strength, then I assume the horse will be able to actually pull more weight. So keep in mind the strength of your horse when you do this. You can check the strength of your horse by registering it at a stable. So I chose the worst possible horse for this demo, unfortunately. But either way, guys, if you are wondering how to make um, like a cart, carriage, a, a towing, I don't know what these things are called. I'll have to look it up after I record this. Um, 
But yeah, one of those things where you actually have like a cart that the horse pulls. Uh, that's how you do it. You just got to get three pony points and then you can get the towing harness. You customize it at the stables and then you can attach it to things like this. And then you can make cool little carts and things and carry resources around, which I am 100% sure will have massive implications later on in the game. Uh, positive implications. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Now you know how to make horse-drawn carriages in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.